Hi, everybody. It's 7 o'clock, right on time. I said I would start. Saying hello to y'all. Learning this as we go. Let's see. You see, if I can figure this out all on my own. I want to turn something around. Hmm. Not letting me do it. Oh well, I'll learn as I go. A little more practice, I think. So, we're gonna wait a little bit to have everyone come in. Good evening, good evening. So, I've got my uh, office window open because there's a lot of dark looking clouds out there and it's kind of cool. You made it, you made it. Hi, welcome, welcome. Um, let me see. Nope, never mind. Got it, got it. Um, still trying to figure out how I can reverse the cards so you guys can see them, but by the time we do this next time, I will have it down. But yeah, it, I, I have all the windows. I had to shut this window because you know the wind mm. chimes were causing a lot of um interesting noise here but the the uh, curtains are open it's really nice outside so uh, i think it'll be maybe one of our last hurrahs before uh yeah windy and cooler before we start warming up i took my dog for a walk earlier and then i um went by myself again, and I did something kind of funny. I'm sure you guys will laugh. I took my new used camera with me because I always take it with me in case I see a bird. And guess what happened? <laughs> I had taken out the memory card, so it wouldn't have helped me at all. Oh my gosh. So what are you guys up to? Just saying hello. Yeah, Sonia, you love my Chelsea, and she loves you. Every time she walks by your house, she's like, we're going to go to see Sonia. By the way, she's my neighbor, everybody. So, yeah, we're going to wait just a little bit and have um, some people come in. Um, I want to share a group message with everyone. And then I want to try to do a guided meditation. We'll see how that goes. It's been a while since I've done a guided meditation online, but I felt guided to start sharing some of those. I have written a few. This particular one that I want to do tonight, I did not write, but it seems to be kind of a powerful one with what's going on right now in the world and uh, trying something different. I don't know, with all this time in my hands, trying something different using the flat iron. Not sure, just something I'm not sure I'm getting used to it yet. Eh, we'll see. So hopefully everybody is um, staying well, staying healthy, st um, also trying to get outside. It's so important to get outside. I, I have every day I'm doing something different. I'm cleaning a cabinet or I'm polishing some uh, cabinets up, um, cleaning out closets. I did my garage, but I find time every day that I have to get out of the house. I just can't. I just can't stay cooped up. Um, so I get up and I don't know about you guys that I know there are several of us that are not doing a lot of sleeping and at some point in time we'll do a, a sleeping meditation as well. So welcome to everyone that's um, come in and sometimes I don't want to I don't want to plan ahead too much. I, I'd rather be on the spur of the moment and doing things. I kind of just decided at the end of the day that I was going to do this. 
And I thought, well, we'll see. We'll see. There's lots going on tonight. Lots of musicians that are out playing, uh, live streaming. So there's lots of opportunities for people to get their uh, music fix on, I should say. Got to put these glasses so I can see. Um, I cannot see some of you that have just come in, but it looks like the other Pam has come in. Hi. Um, so I, I did, I did pull a card for the group. Um, last live I shared a video and my neighbors are out walking with their masks on saying hello. Um, well, we just started, Pam. You haven't missed anything yet. Um, so the last time I shared a dream that we had, or I had, but it seemed to be involving all of us. So this time I thought, well, I'll go ahead and just pull a group card and let's see what is our group message. There's so much, um, there's so much emotional stuff going on that I know it's rough for a lot of people. I struggled today. I really struggled in being, uh, I, I want to be able to be with people and I want to be able to interact and, you know, being on, um, um, welcome all of the new people that have come in. Welcome. So, um, you know, it's, it, it, we're, we're finding new ways to communicate. I didn't know that you could, first of all, do video messaging, let alone do more than two people. So that's another way of people interacting and sharing, but I'm so used to being around a group of people all the time. So it, it, it's, it's tough. It's tough for me. So I, I struggled and I was also thinking during my walkabout again, I was thinking, what are you going to do when everything runs out of chores and things to do? Then what are you going to do? We have a whole nother month. Um, hopefully things will open up a little bit, but we have a whole nother month. And then um, the message was very clear which my friend Michael reminded me of today. Hopefully he stops in and says hello. He said, have you been writing? And I was like, uh, yeah. I, I have been writing some poetry, that's correct. But I did make a promise to myself that I would work on my third book. Um, I've started it, but I haven't gotten very far. So once all these other chores are done, then yeah. That's what I'm going to do. That's, you have chores for me to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, there is a lag. This I'm using my phone, so there's always a lag. And I don't, you know, I, I don't see people when they enter the room. But um, I want to talk a little bit about, um, first of all, I want to talk about the card that I pulled from my um, uh, from my Ganesha deck, and I tried to figure out how to switch this around, but it's I don't seem to have that option here. So we'll just leave that alone, and I'll figure it out at some other time. But anyway, from my Ganesha deck today for the group, I pulled the wholeness card and as you can see besides the word wholeness it's green and the color green is for the heart chakra so interesting that we're going through a lot of changes right now with what's going on in the world and when I sat and thought about the wholeness card, when I pulled it earlier, it reminds us that there's there's something so much bigger than us. This is not about us. Um, this is about realizing our oneness and wholeness with everybody. And I see a lot of that right now. People are 
really joining in to help one another. Um, and, and, and it's about like with the heart chakra being green um, and this wholeness, it's about giving and receiving love. So I firmly believe that we are whole just the way we are. And I think we've forgotten that. So we're whole already. We're already complete. And I think some of this shutdown and quarantine is reminding us that we are whole already. And to honor that. Also, I heard the phrase wholeness. Wholeness is peace. And that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool thing. Wholeness is peace. And that is true. Um, so I think that that is a lovely group card for us. And to think about um, when I say learning to give and receive um, love, so many times we're out there helping other people and giving love, but are we giving it to ourselves? Um, so... I had to learn that a lot because I wasn't learning, nurturing myself and showing self-love. But then I began to learn about this word wholeness. And oops, sorry guys. Wholeness. I know, one of these days we're going to get that fixed. And I'll turn the cards around. Um, so welcome to all of the new people that have come in. Uh, we're talking about wholeness and how we are... <coughs> Chelsea, Chelsea, stop. Hey, come here. Sorry, guys. Chelsea, come here. For heaven's sake, stop. I should have lowered the... I can't do that now. Stop. Or I'll make you go outside. Just say hello to everybody. <laughs> oh, Chelsea, it's dark. Oh, I know what it is. She sees my reflection. <laughs> oh, my God. She sees my reflection. In the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower this. In a minute. Chelsea, go. Go. Come on. Welcome, everybody. Go on. Go. Get. I'm going to go shut this real quick, guys. <gasps> oh, that's so funny. She saw a reflection of me in there, and she started barking like, what the heck was that? So, back to it now. <laughs> oh, missed your face, too. Hi, everybody that's come in. Um, I am going to get us ready to do a guided meditation, if you're all ready for that. Um, it's kind of a, this was a, a guided meditation that was done many, many years ago with uh, a group of women. We were all um, in a support situation when we were talking about our sex abuse and how we were survivors and thrivers and the counselor had done this group meditation for us and it's really really incredible so um i want us to all um, get ourselves ready to do this guided meditation but first we do have to let go of things for the day we have to uh Inhale and exhale very slowly, taking some deep breaths in and exhaling very slow. Another inhale and another exhale. And what I like to do, we're going to ground because that's so important to ground before we do any form of guided meditation. So we have our feet apart and on the ground. Um, we are going to envision that we have the white light coming from the heavens um, or universal uh, universe, however you want to say that. And we're thinking we're going to be receiving the white light. The white light is going to flow down our body, see the light flowing down the body, down through the legs, and you're going to have that light shoot right down into the ground, 
And from that, I want you to envision roots, roots of a tree. You are now the tree. You have your roots. You are connected to the earth. You are connected to the other side and you are grounded. And I want you to take another deep breath in and out. And what I want you to do now, I want you to close your eyes because we're going to take a little journey. And in this journey, with your eyes shut, pay attention to the sounds around you before I ask you to open your eyes. You are sitting on a beach. You can feel the sand underneath your bare feet. You can hear the waves crashing. And you can see the dolphins and the whales way out into the distance. And you're just going to breathe in that, that fresh sea air. And you're going to open your eyes. And you're going to look around. And you're going to see to your right, there is a wooded area, some trees, and, and uh, there's a little dirt path. And I want you to take that path. I want you to start walking down that path. Now on either side of the path, there's beautiful flowers. There's, uh, you can hear water bubbling up ahead a little bit. Um, and, and it's not a fearful thing. There's no need to be afraid because you're going to walk right into that forest. As you're walking into the forest, I want you to see what's on your left, what's on your right, and what you are hearing. There are birds. There are lovely wildlife scurrying around. There are green trees. There are bushes. Off in the distance is the bubbling water, and you know that, that that's around. You're going to keep walking on this path, and you're going to look ahead of you. And as you look ahead of you, off into the distance, you see something. Can't quite make out what it is just yet. But you are walking on this path. You're getting closer and closer and closer. And there is something coming into your view. There are two people, as you can see. There is an elderly woman and there is a child. They're coming and standing right in front of you. You can see them face to face. You can practically touch them. The elder is you. The child is you. They've come together holding hands standing before you and they each have a message for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some silence here. You're going to, first of all, ask the child, that inner child of yours, ask that child what message they have for you. Ask that child, what message do you have for me as you're standing there? And as soon as you receive that message, go to the elder you. This is you way, way into the future. You're an elderly person. Uh, I, I'd like to say a wise person who's been through lots. And have um, that elder give you a message. And we're going to go quiet for a minute so that you can all ask that question and then we'll come back together in a minute, okay?
now, I will just say quietly, when you're all done, please say the word done, okay? There may be a few more still getting their messages. Uh, I have a lag time on this phone. I don't know why. So I'll wait a little bit longer for people to finish getting their message. And then we will finish that up. Thank you, Miss Carissa. It's good to see you. Now, there might be some people also that came in late that didn't start the meditation that might just be in the room. So I'm going to go another 30 seconds or so, and then we will uh, finish things up here. So with this lagging behind, I'm assuming most of us have gotten our uh, 
messages. What we're going to do now, you're going to thank both of them for giving you the messages that you received. And they're letting you know that you can return to this forest and them anytime you want. Anytime you feel like you need a message from them uh, or by themselves if you choose. Um, I want you to notice that they are holding hands, they have turned around and they are walking out away from the path and headed to the direction that they came from. And as you um, bid them farewell, um, give them a smile and a thank you. And I want you to turn around and come back, back down the path, back down to where you hear the beach and the birds, come back down to that spot that you were sitting with when you first sat down. Sit down, feel the sand in your toes, wiggle your hands, move your feet, take a deep breath, and then come back out of the meditation. So everybody, this is something I haven't done for a while. Um, I want your opinion. Do you, I, I've got um, some other meditations I'm writing and I've already got some that I've written. Is it something that you would like to periodically have a guided meditation? I know I do a lot of cards and for those who came in late, it was wholeness. Um, what are your thoughts? Tell me. Um, I'm open to suggestions. If um, maybe we do this once a month, um, if maybe you just want topics and uh, messages, we can do that as well. So what do you think? Um, I'm open. Let me get a swig here while I'm kind of waiting for everyone to come back um, into the room, back onto the earth. Okay, I hear that, Nina. I, I know that I have to um, make myself do meditation because I just I just have to because my brain never shuts up. So um, yeah, I, I'm working on a sleep guided meditation, Pam, and there's a lot of us that are having trouble sleeping. So I'm working on uh, writing that. I have. Um, some, I have a, a, one of my favorite ones that I've written is my Yellow Brick Road Guided Meditation, and it's about Wizard of Oz. So that's exciting, and I have written one about meeting your, your animal guide. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, I, I think I'll go with being guided. Um, oh, okay, no, that's true. Online might not be beneficial for some people. That is correct. Um, most of the time when I do guided meditations, I do them in a group setting in the physical and Hey, you know what? Maybe we can do get something like that together. What do you think, Pam? One, you're always up for getting gatherings together when we're allowed and we can do, um, a guided meditation in the physical. Absolutely. So, uh, let me know what you think about all that. And I am thinking, um, so we have the one card. Um, I'm just going to maybe think about another one for the group. That was the beginning. Um, let's see what other message might come for me. Oh, and you know what? I need to tell you guys, there's a button in here, I think at the very beginning, that you can click to be notified when I go live. Um, not everyone has that or has done that. So, oh, great, Pam. That would be awesome. We could have a little gathering at your place and, you know, 
I bring a little refreshments and we can do, you know, maybe some little bit of uh, group messages and a guided meditation. That'd be awesome. We don't know when we're going to be able to plan that because we don't know when we're going to be let loose on the world again. Wow, this is really an interesting card for us guys. I pulled from the same deck. This is one of my newer Ganesha decks and I, I, I haven't been pulling anything from it for a while, but wow, this says childlike expression. And this is about um, going back to your inner child. Um, isn't that something? Childlike expression. I, when I first did this guided meditation, I went right to the child and I did not know that child was going to give me some very important messages. And if you guys want to share um, any of what you got in your guided meditation, this little child of mine, she gave me a globe, a little globe as a gift in my guided meditation when I met her. It was just unbelievable because I'd had a lot of woundedness from that inner child. And she gave me so much healing. So if you guys, if anyone wants to share, that's great. Let me see if there's anything because it's a new deck. Yep. This, it just says strictly our inner child. I wish I could figure out how to do this, and I will. Next time we do a live, I'm going to have it figured out. So, um, yeah, I, and after, after I had that meditation and that inner child, that little child gave me that globe, I was so astounded because then I was able to go back in time to a, a time when that inner child was petrified because of the violence that was going on in the home. Lots and lots of violence. And I went back to that little child in that hallway observing the violence and I wasn't afraid anymore. So for me, that guided meditation was an incredible healing thing for me. So um, when we do things in group settings in the physical, it's, it is a little bit more um, healing, I think, at times, because then we can all sit down and share and talk uh, amongst each other. So it's a little bit, a little bit tough to do that here on, online. I agree. Um, I used to do a lot of them online um, where there were no distractions. But, you know, in, in this world, there is a lot of distractions while we're doing this. So are you all good with maybe trying to do um, some guided meditations, maybe? Um, I don't know what would happen if I, I've got my computer, I'm going to try something while we're all here, and I just want to see if I might be able to, um, let's see, no, I'm just trying to see if I could see comments a little faster, okay, looking through, scrolling, just looking to see what comments I might have missed. Hmm. It's not helping me much here, guys. But you're all part of me learning and helping me as I'm doing this. So um, we are going to do another one of these, and hopefully it'll be a sleep one. Um, but the next time, and I, I might just periodically go live and, and pull some cards, um, you know, I don't know when that's going to be. Maybe we'll do some during the day. Um, I don't know. So I'm saying bye to everyone because I'm, you know, everyone's got things to do. I don't want to keep everybody. I want to thank everyone who's come in to say hello. Uh, you're my very first Facebook Live guided meditation. Um, in the comments, go ahead and put your thoughts and if you thought it, it worked well, if, if you have recommendations, and I'll go back and I will look at some of those. Um, so hey, everyone have a lovely evening and um, I will hope to see you soon. Bye guys.